What's up, YouTube? I'm back. I'm going to have a three-game series with Kerry Close. Kerry is my homie. Cool guy. If you ever spend time with him, he's always out partying, so I always have a good time with him at all the events. But he's the Deuce Close God. When it comes to Deuce Close, he is the best Deuce Close player there has ever been in the past three years since they put this wham shit in the game that I hate. Played Kerry a lot the last couple years. You know, it's been fun, but it's always aggravating trying to defend the run, man. It's always a player. If you stop the run, you'll be all right. That's pretty much how all runners are, but it's, it's easier said than done. My offense is the same this game. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys who I'm rocking for this first game of the three-game series. What I'm going to do is I have the same offense I've ran pretty much for the last month. Dorsett, Tyreek Hill, Randy Moss, Tevin Coleman, Todd Gurley, a tight end, and Michael Vick, the best player in Madden history. Defensively, I'm going to I scale back. I, I have Amos. Scaled down Amos to the 89 speed. Amos still have Ramsey, still have Pat Pete, Brian Dawkins, full Brian Dawkins, because he's going to hit one of these bum ass running backs and give me a fumble. But the front seven, I had to beef it up more than normally. I had my man Zach Sealer, Khalil Mack, full Khalil Mack before the uh, Guardian update. Got Telvin Smith, 25 cap. I believe he has 80 speed. Got just Davian Clowney, 39 cap. You know, he got 80 speed. Then I got Lawrence Taylor, linebacker. So these three guys will be able to go ahead and block shit and, and try to make some hits along with Khalil Mack. Going to still use my man Apke because he's the best user in the game. So this is the defense I'm going to try to roll out there the first game. So we'll see. I know Kerry, Kerry Close is going to be leading the way, and he's going to be uh, really crushing it as far as run blocking. So we'll see if they can hold up because that's going to be the whole key to the game. So make sure you guys find out if they can hold up. And, you know, if they don't, I can always change it for the second game. That's the beauty of a three-game series. So let's see how it's going to work. This is the first game, like I said, against Kerry to go ahead and go into my head league. I need to win these two out of three to go ahead and get my chance to win $10,000. It's a great league ran by Mudhead. You guys can definitely check it out. We're not sure all who's going to be in it. It's going to be some of the top players in the world. I will be streaming my games. Obviously, you can check that link below. My Twitch link is below. All the offense and defense I'm going to run here is going to be at manturf.com. You can check it out. In the first play, we get wide receiver end the round. He has Tevin Coleman out there, wide receiver. I know Kerry, like I said, he's going to be in two tight ends. He came out when wide receiver end the round. I, I, I wanted, was ready for Deuce, and this here he goes. He's got Eddie George, six foot three, monster. And first play of the game, we drop a pick to Milton. We see Milton make tons of plays. He's a 10 cap. As you can see, I'm pissed off we dropped that. Next play, he goes to Moss. But Pat Pete, the best corner in the game, makes a huge play to get a stop. Hold him to three. That's huge for runners, man. I would talk about seven and threes. It's even bigger when you're playing against runners. So, oh, I swear I had a touchdown there. I made a bad one cut. Missed that touchdown there. But let's go ahead and get some points on the board. First drive, you know the killer man is Mr. Gurley. Dump it off to him underneath. A couple little baby yards. He leaves the middle of the field wide open. Tyreek Hill making some plays after he catches the ball. And you can see Kerry is probably the only person right now that still has Anthony Barr. He has him kept up the 88 speed bar. Throw it over the top to Randy Moss. He's using Barr to cover the whole middle of the field. You guys know I like to pepper the sideline. But if you're going to get a middle of the field, I want to take it. There we go, Michael Vick. little scramble. Next play, he's got to cover Moss. We throw a little curl over here to Tyreek Hill. Walk into the end zone. Huge sequence. Go right down the field. Beautiful first drive. You're playing a runner. I, I give up three, but then I go get seven. That's huge. And Eddie George is just a tank right now. I mean, I like I said, I packed the, I packed the box with Telvin Smith, Khalil Mack, Lawrence Taylor, Jadavion Clowney. We're all trying to fight. And I'll be honest with you, Brian Dawkins and, and Adrian Amos' safety really held their own as far as tackling this horse right here you see Dawkins went for a strip missed it but we all swarmed around it man some people will tell me man you don't really need corners when you're playing carry but these corners are the ones that really make the plays they have the speed to go catch Eddie George if he goes into the open and they also had a play rack to go get down there and, and really uh defend them defend against the um the run and here goes with a nice little play dumps it off underneath that's probably his first pass of the game the next play another wham another wham another wham I'm going to go ahead and try to hit a little pass here. And you know the best corner in the game makes a play. Best corner in the game, Patrick Peterson. Period. I tell you guys over and over and over. That's the 43 cat. Pat Pete makes a huge play right there. Able to hold the ball right here. Go ahead and hit my man Randy Moss. on a huge play from the nine-yard line. So now, not only did I hold him to three, I go ahead and get a stop. So let's keep moving the ball. Dump it off to my man Gurley. Hit a little spin. Try to hit a little juke and get out of there. Throw a drag and turn it into 15, 16 yards. That's huge when you're able to do that. 
Next play, try to hit a little little draw. Keep him honest. Right now, I feel like I want to make this the last drive of the half. I get the ball at half as well. Things are going really well for me. Another little dump off turned into 15, 16 yards with Todd Gurley. Bang. But we took it to the two-minute warning. We're going to get him into his timeouts now. A couple more dots and the game will be over. I can hold the ball, throw underneath the moss. Way to hold on to the ball right there. I mean, when, and when you're carry, if you have a lead the way, a Lorenzo Neal, you have Anthony Barr, you're not going to have much cap for your defense, and it shows because his defense, I'm pretty much going through it like Swiss cheese, and we get the touchdown to go up to 14-3. to three. Bang, that's huge because when you play against a runner and you get the lead, they can't continue to run the ball for two and three yards. You can see the wham isn't killing me, but it's hurting me, and here we go with a sack off the edge. My man Milton, he can't catch picks, but he'll damn sure tackle the quarterback. He was those slant right at my face over the middle. Randy Moss caught it. He has no timeouts here, but you can see Kerry's a he's a wham specialist. He's still going to wham. Khalil Mack fought right there. That's why we put him at D tackle. Next play goes this little curl play underneath. He hits Robbie Anderson. That's a nice play that he set up these two zigzag routes to open up the middle of the field to hit one of the curls. You see lead the way. We just can't tackle Eddie George. That was Lawrence Taylor bounced off him. Khalil Mack got pancaked. Lawrence Taylor bounced off him. The next play, Khalil Mack is on the ground again from Lorenzo Neal. Goes a little pass here. The clock's running out. He's just trying to run some time out here. And that's what he does. He's able to kick his field goal. So we're at halftime now, man. Listen, I, it was three drives he had. Gave up two field goals, only six points. I had two offensive drives. Scored two touchdowns. That's really the way you want to start a game, especially against a running out. This drive out of half, I'm up, I'm up, what I'm up, eight points right now. So it's feeling really good on offense. Any points here, want to take some time out the clock, shorten the game so he can't lean on that running game. And the, the best run defense is a good offense. So if I go down here and get some points, man, it's going to put him in a real tough spot to continue to run the ball into the line with Eddie George. I feel like my, my defense is really holding up fairly well against the run, and, and that's all I wanted to do. He goes and plays good defense here. I, he ran cover two for the first time, I believe, in the game and really boxed me right there. So I had to make a little couple adjustments. Throw the ball underneath a girly high. Two bad plays by me in a row. He boxed me pretty well. Got to a third and 11. We're going to dump it off the girly again. Just get half of this. Make this a real manageable fourth down. So I'm going to go for this. Obviously, it's short yards. If it was fourth and 16, I might punt. But I just feel like, man, you know, I should be able to get six yards. It's a big drive. Getting points here would end the game, in my opinion. So I just need to go ahead and go ahead and convert this. I'm going to go put a little high-low action on the left side. The route combination that I have a YouTube video on. You guys can check it out in my past videos on this channel. But if he covers the left side, I'm going to hit and hit Moss over the middle. Obviously, he covers Moss, so I go back to this comeback route. Tyreek Hill fries his corner, get down so he can't strip me or hit stick me. I'm 11 for 12 right now, feeling great on offense. Get some yards right here on the uh, running back draw. Only two yards, actually. But just got to keep him honest. I want to run some clock. I want to, uh, you know, make this. Hopefully, we could get all the way through the third quarter. We hit another comeback route. This one, the Philip Dorsett. Get the ball again to Tevin Coleman. We get a nice 11 there, so just stick with the run. The time is my friend. I need to really milk this clock out, run a little inside zone. Get down there, get a, that was almost 15 yards. Six carries for 40 or four yards. Another run to Gurley, get inside the one. Gurley got to fight for me, get in that end zone. Run a little fullback dive. We're really milking the clock now. It's a five-minute quarters game, and we run a toss here on third down, and Tevin Coleman gets in the end zone. Little air truck action for me on the goal line. So we make it 21-6. to six. That's a full 15 points. That's huge. I think it's really a great lead. The game is different now. As you know, I was manning up people. I was blitzing more people to try to stop the run. Right now, I'm just, my whole focus is, man, no big plays, no big runs, no big bombs. And Dawkins jumps. He was in a flat route, flat zone right there, jumps that. Just no big plays. Hopefully, I don't give a big run. As you can see, man, I'm cool with 10 yards. I hate 10 yards. But as long as he doesn't get past that, as long as he doesn't break a big one, get him to a fourth down. App, you can't knock him backwards. I mean, Eddie George is the biggest player on the field. He hits a crossing route right here. Boom. That's a nice play to Tevin Coleman. Of course, Pat Pete strips him out of bounds. I mean, that's the fumbles I get. Here we go again. We tackle. We tackle Eddie George. Strip him. Obviously, if he caught that, it'd be worse because, you know, 15 seconds would run off the clock. Eddie George again. Amos held him up enough for Lawrence to Taylor to come back and grab him. We get here. Once again, Eddie George Dawkins drags him down. Just fighting. Take some time off the clock. Next play, run a little pass play. Sack Telvin Smith around the edge. He sent out everybody. This play, he runs, and for some reason, I get pancaked. I have no idea why we got pancaked, 
But we definitely got pancake Danny George Walton. He goes for two here, which uh, it was bad decision by for in my opinion, because now the game's over. He didn't get it. The game's over. He's down two possessions. It's the fourth quarter. If he just kicks his field goal, it's still a one possession game. Puts a lot more pressure on me on offense than I have right now because I'm still up two scores. So there's no pressure for me on offense. I put it on conservative though, so I wouldn't fumble. As you can see, that pancake play got me flustered. I have the hoodie off now. As we throw this dot over here to Philip Dorsett. Want to stay in bounds to keep the clock running. That's all it's about right now. Q's play. And that's what I'm talking about, man. If he would have just kicked his extra point, it would have been more pressure on me offensively. But right now, I feel no pressure. We get into his timeouts early. That's what it's about. We get a second down. Throw this little baby drag. I had to post. Watching this again, I had to post. Just want to keep the clock running. I'm in field goal range. Of course, I take a terrible sack right here. But that just goes to... um. Pretty much being up two scores. If I was only up one score, I would have played that a lot differently for my field goal. But I took a sack there. I punted him to the seven-yard line. But he's still running wham. Down two scores under two minutes. We're still just Eddie George or die. 18 carries for 97 yards. Those are flat pass over here to Eddie George. That's I'm not really too worried about the run right now because it's going to take up some clock. All I want is the clock to be going. I want to tackle him in bounds here. The flag, he was actually on aggressive blocking. That's how bad it really got got going for him he had to put it on aggressive blocking but uh, eddie george brian dawkins just bring him down boom that's what i'm talking about uh, i think it was all sides here he declined it that's why it's a penalty we get to a third and two telvin smith again around the edge get him to a third and ten this is just time dwindling down those are little posts right here that robbie anderson catches on pat p he uses a timeout just really looking bad for him lawrence taylor goes and screams around the around the loop finally get the loop in Lawrence Taylor screaming again. Brian Dawkins knocks it out of his hands. Game's pretty much over. Throws a little wheel route here to Robbie Anderson. Tackle him inbounds. We do that. Uses his last timeout. This is the last play of the game. He throws it up. Over here to Ramsey. Incomplete. He's going to back out there. That's the first game. I feel like my team really performed well. I feel like I don't need to make any real changes to my defense. I feel like they were really balling. And they really uh, played the run fairly well. I mean, obviously, Eddie George still got off. But with the wham and lead blocking and Lorenzo Neal and the offensive line he has, I'm not too upset with their performance. So for the second game, I pretty much I want to keep the, I want to keep the same team. So make sure you guys check on what happened in the second game. I felt like I played great offense that game. And I just need to continue doing that. And we're going to get in the Mudhead League. So check out the next game. We'll go up when I get 200 likes on this one.